precious Lamb of God, Messiah. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the great and awesome Lord, the God of the living, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Father, we want to thank you for today. We thank you for your grace and we thank you for your mercy. Father, we come before you to hear from your word. And Father, we want to uplift this word to you. Father, we pray that you sanctify this word. Because we know that your word is truth. And your word sanctifies us. Father, we pray that as we share your word, may you give us your understanding. Give us your wisdom. Give us your knowledge. And Father, even as we are giving this word, we shall not speak our words. We shall not speak our thoughts. We shall not speak our convictions. But rather that that comes from the Holy Spirit. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. That I decrease and you increase. Father, your word will be placed so that all can be built up and be understanding you more. Father, we also commit everyone who is going to listen to this word. Open their ears, open their hearts, open their soul and spirit and that this word will fall on the fertile soil to grow that they may be built up for the glory of your name. We also subject every spirit and every confusing spirit the spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of ignorance, we subject them to the supremacy of our Lord Jesus Christ. That Lord you may be in all and for all. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray. May God bless you. So, um, I want I want some God. Yeah, I got some rest, and now we are going to look at the new road. Okay, it's an old road, but it's going to be having so many new things. And I also want some God for the gentleman. I, I, he's a very good student. I, I wish you could have like 20 of them. You would know that yes, that we are on track. So my brother, may God bless you. And thank you for giving your heart to God. And it's my honest prayer that everybody can be in that line. Yeah, so the, the main thing we are looking at how do we intimate with Christ and we stopped on of course it was spiritual purity but I've been since I've been away for quite some time so the Holy Spirit compelled me to, to begin from intimacy that there are some certain things that we have misconceived and they were not properly aligning to, to the way God wanted to be aligned with. So I will, of course, look at it myself, and then later on, as we go on, I will go back to that subject where we were. Yeah, but I want to, I want to tell you that. That the, the whole purpose 
And why we come before Jesus is to eat made with Jesus. And it's the climax of a Christian to go deeper in understanding God. And of course, we are looking at so many things that has happened in our lives. And some of them were destinies, just like the other lady was, was, was requesting. And this is the gist that you need in your life. And of course, reminding you that Christ is not going to take those who have benefited the world. And the, the heavens are not going to be entered by an educated person or an educated person. But, but it is going to take the regenerated ones. And those that have intimated with Jesus. And that's why he calls the church. Uh, okay, that moment he calls it the marriage of the Lamb. So I could imagine you be there and you want to get married, but you're not intimate with the person you're supposed to get married to. How many people are married here? How many are intimate with their spouses? Uh, chairman, chairman, how is your intimacy with your wife? Is it, is it good? Is it a bad one? Is it moving on? Is it trying? Which one? Yeah, you go to the mountain. Hey chairman, I want to hear the, 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 the words of chairman. Please put the put the mic. Amen. Amen. Chairman, maybe your voice can be heard, like uh, so you can use just refuse. Praise God. Amen. Between me and is very good. Wonderful. So now, now as chairman description, his intimacy is good with the wife, right? How about your intimacy with Christ? Is it steep flowing? Is it having valleys and mountains? How you describe for me just two words? Or you haven't reached the intimacy with Christ? Because it grows both spiritual and physical. May God bless you. And that's what I was looking for. Now. There is intimacy and then there is proximity. Now, many Christians have proximity with Jesus. And they do not have intimacy with Jesus. There is a huge difference between having intimacy with someone and being physical with someone, but you're not in one mind and one spirit and one body. Okay, uh, those who are married. Because you know, uh, intimacy is normally. I'm going to look at two, two, two examples. I look at uh, the church and I look at the, the family or the, what you call the physical marriage that we have. Now, 
kutunuliza mukanisa no bufumbo obane family na ya bulijjo have you ever been there you with your wife and you with either you with your husband at home wali o wadde kwawo e wakali omwagalwa wo yeah but you are seated next to one another na mweli ranya ganyi and of course one is looking at their phone and the other person is looking at their phone nga mwenna kuliko mufuru ya masimuga mwe okay is that it masi okokubera kwegatta Okay, well, how do we call that? It is proximity. Marriage. But I've not been intimate with you. And I've never been intimate, in, okay, intimate, intimate with you. I've never reached that intimacy with you. And when we talk about intimacy, it goes beyond uh, the intercourse or sexual intercourse. Yeah, like so, the intimacy is not all about just having sex in, the, in your marriage. No. Now, it, like, uh, so basically, we exercise proximity more. But, but we are not intimate. Our mind is not the same. The way we understand the perception is different. The desire that we have to grow the family is different. No, me, I'm with that man because I wanted children. Now, so what about the mind of the, of, of, of the husband? Is it the same? Is it the same? Are you really intimate in the mind? Are you intimate in the desire? And are you intimate in understanding one another? Now, what binds you sometimes? Okay, you know, I, I always look at this and, and I look at them, I observe them, I do, I do see experiences that you realize that some families are bounded by, by intercourse only. The only come at night when, when, when there is no light, that's when we speak, I hear robot, come on. Now, that is not intimacy. Okay, it's an aspect of the physical intimacy, but it's not the intimacy that we are talking now, about. Now, I want to draw you to Christ now. Now, you are intimate with Jesus because he bought you a car. If the car is not there, it's not Jesus. Now, are you in mind? Are you thinking in the mind of Jesus? Your testimony is it a testimony of Jesus? Now, like, so you have to see it as a thinking with Jesus. In mind, in understanding, in acquiring and designing Jesus God, in your connection to the kingdom of God, in your value to the kingdom of God, in the spirit and, and the purpose of God. And I, I wanted us to look at uh, Song of Songs, uh, chapter chapter two, from verse fourteen uh, to you can reach seventeen. Because I want to bring this out so that we can understand it better. Then later on we shall see how do we get this man, how we intimate with him, how uh, so we shall continue. But later on I want us first understand this uh, foundation. If we don't, we are going to miss out everything. Let's look at Song of Songs, Song of Solomon, or Song of Solomon in other Bibles, but it's called Songs of Songs. Yeah, yeah uh, someone, I want amplified and I want also in Uganda. Amplified version. Uh, but you can pass. Uh... 
May God bless you. I want you to read for me again verse 14. Verse 14 and 15. Just again, just for emphasis. Verse 14. Mm. And you can actually also appeal your voice so that we hear it very well. So I went with him, and when we were climbing the rocky steps up the hillside, my beloved shepherd said to me, Now, just stop there. Now, the amplified version says, as we were moving on the steep mountains, that my beloved shepherd said to me, uh, what did they, uh -huh, continue? Say to me, Oh my dad, while you are here in the seclusion of the cliffs, in the solid rock, in the shelter and sacred place of the cliff, let me see your face. Now, like, this is a certain setting. Like for example, okay, you could choose a day and uh, maybe let's say 
I haven't visited with uh, my wife to the mountains, so I haven't done it before. But maybe one day. But okay, those days we could you could choose to have someone. And you will be there with you. To have another cat and no longer want And you say, oh, let's let's just go. I want us to see the bridge that is on the top of the mountain. No, let's go there. No, come back. We just gonna be in the pool in the car where we are carrying to to the source of water. Where are you standing? The generator. Now, I'll, I'll continue, right? Yeah. Can anyone behind hear me? Yeah, like uh, I think we shall continue as. Now, like you, you know those moments. I don't know what you've gone through uh, with your wife, with your husband, but. Those who are actually intimate with each other. Kachiavo, amari jabu mukwano na bagaro bagui. Now, uh, there are some times where you choose places. What do I have said? I was on there before. That is, that suit the atmosphere that you would want to express yourself. Ngabi teka wo embera chula gani nadala opula go mukwano go. Now, but uh, the song of song says. Oriemba walu gamba. That oh my job. In the crests of the rock in the separate places. In Tigwe Jivadiange, Edimela Munjatika Yo Munjazi, Muwekwe Kenova Mayinja. And uh, the amplified one says, I tell you, amplified the year gamba. But while we're here in the crest of this place, in Tigwe Twadi Wanena Munjatika Zama Inja, let me hear your voice. Let me present the voice in your sweet voice. And the voice in your dungi. And of course, she responded and said, when I had such words in my ear, I desired to, to sing a sing of praise to him. So I am talking about uh, these people who have gone at least into uh, the, the, I, I don't mean this marriage that is um is, is a marriage that is a little bit and drop, right? And if you're pulling ropes and a chani chono, I'm not meaning that kind of marriage. I'm talking about where you do some surprises for your spouse. I'm talking about where you do some surprises for your spouse. And you say that I won't surprise you this evening. No, come on, Chinja, I don't want us to do anything, anything, but I want us to go to the mountain and sit and, and, and visit how the birds sing for us. Or maybe, those are movies, I'm, I'm speaking about the movies, what? what? Do we have them in the church? Or we, I'm talking about the film. Yeah, but I, I would just, I want you to get drawn, to get connected to the scripture. Yeah, whereby, uh, okay, you say, uh, let, let's go and hear how the birds sing. And, uh, you know, you've been in Kampala, there is a lot of noise, there is a lot of uh, a pollution of the cars everywhere, so sometimes even the Kampala is too smelly for me. And then, and then when you reach the mountain, <laughs> in fact, as you journey in that mountain, <laughs> it's not an easy task that you're going to go. Anybody who has visited the mountain, you know how steep it can be. You find so many rocks in that mountain. And when we when you get uh, when you get a Kampala babe, she might not even climb the mountain. So we say, honey, so that we reach up there. So we look to Now that is the song of songs. He was trying. He was trying to be poetic. But he's describing the intimacy with Christ and the church. Now that is the song of songs. He was trying. He was trying to be poetic. 
Christu ne kanisa. That you know what? Nti mumani. That as we are here. Nti ngatuli waneno. In this class of separate blessing. Ngatuli munda tika zama inja. I also want to hear your voice. Nanga yanja kala kuli la dobo zio. You know that the Chinese. What do I say? Where you want? Okay, I'm just going to again put it on the side of the married and uh, because the ki the people who are not yet married uh, shouldn't worry. They, nobody wants to hear your voice. <laughs> but <laughs> but the, the mar there is a time when you say I, I miss someone. I wish maybe this person could call me and I listen to what they're telling me. What do I can say? I want to talk. No, I'm not going to get any more. I'm going to go and see what I'm going to do. I'm going to see what I'm going to do. No, I'm not going to go and see what I'm going to do. And you realize that. No, 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 no. That you need, you need at least to, to, to speak that person. Just not because. Just to listen to the person. Now, now you see that Jesus Christ loves the church. And uh, how you know how the song of song was. But in the movement or in the journey of the intimacy with Jesus, there are steps or the kind of rocks that you're going to find on the way. And, and his, she makes a setting that nobody is looking at you. It is between you and that person. There is a time when you need that, that, that time and you want to be alone with Jesus. And Jesus wants to hear your sweet words. He wants to see what is coming out of you. Uh, the Amplified, you can read for us again. And uh, you, you read 15 as well. Verse 14 says, so I went with him, and when we were climbing the rocky steps up the hillside, my beloved said to me, Oh my dad, while you are here, in the seclusion of the cliff, in the solid road, in the sheltered and separate place of the cliff, let me see your face, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet, and your face is lovely. Verse 15. My heart was touched and I fervently sang to him my desire. You see, now, you see that the, the love of Jesus must ignite a, like a sound of praise. You must be touched by the love of Jesus. You look at the commitment. Now, when you look at that setting, it shows the commitment. It shows a person who is very serious about what he's doing. By the time you take a person to the mountain, and you want a bird to sing for you, that is love and commitment. Because you see that the place was arranged. The, the, the sacred place. Yes, it was rocky as they were moving on the way. But it, it was a setting, it was an arrangement. Now, that one showed the love and commitment of Jesus towards the church. That why don't you walk with him on the way? There are steps that there are many rocks that you will find on that way. Before you reach that place where you can honestly and transparently and faithfully be intimate with Him. I have continued and amplified. Verse 15. My heart was touched and I fervently sang to Him my desire. Take for us the foxes. The little foxes that spoil the vine are love. For our violence are in blossom. Yeah, just stop there. Now, see. Now, the lady now, now this lady, see, seeing everything, the setup and everything. 
So she says, Oh, I have never experienced this before. But in about 10 years, you find foxes there. And they could they could interrupt the, the, the setting. And so they could 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 from a side, you will just care your environment and spoil it. I have a daughter who is young and beautiful. So that's why it must need some special places. Yes, we are right to go and talk to her. Go and get before I get in trouble. To reignite your relationship and 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 your commitment and love with one another. Oh, good damn! Oh, kuzu kusa. Oh, mukwano kwa mwenye kwa mwaiyo. No kwa kana na masikati gamu. Then is now the foxes are the destructions. Kati ebiwe biwe no ebiwe ne biono na. Now a lady was was moving towards having intimacy with Jesus. Kato mchano no yari adikonga tamulanga na anatoa kutu kama kwe gata na Chris. Now I'm talking about this person who wants to know Jesus. Ilikuwa kila kwa mtu ya galu kumanya Chris. I'm talking about this person who has given herself to the commitment and the love of Jesus. Ilikuwa kila kwa mtu ya watayo mkuu gala Chris. Now in Amplified says. Kati ya Amplified ya gamba. As we were moving on the steep mountain. Now we reach the place of the set. You can you, you, you can read for us that that very verse. There is a way you know the, 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 the I think it's verse fourteen. Verse fourteen. So I went with him, and when we were climbing the rocky steps up the hillside, my beloved shepherd said to me, "Oh my dove, while you were here in the seclusion of the depths, in the solid rock." In the sheltered and sacred place of the thief, let me hear your voice. Exactly. Now, that the place is secretion. It's a, it's a place of secretion. It's a place. It's a cleft place. It's a sacred place. It's a chifo. So shall we do a good job? But it is rocky place. And then we shall move our mind to where to our mind. So that, but that's. Definitely, this is not like a shore of a lake, no. Now, that shows that the person who has done that has put in a lot of effort to set it up. Now, it's up. Now, when you look at the setting, you realize, oh, Okay, so this person, I initially I thought Jesus is not like this. And what was the desire of that woman again? What did she respond with? On verse 15. And I probably sang to him my desire. So Timo Bonga Wakwati Wako, where to Lembalanga Muyibi do Wagala Kwange. Take for us the foxes. The little foxes that spoil the vineyards of oh. our love. Now, the little foxes. Now, the little foxes. Now, the little foxes. Now, the little foxes. Now, the one who said it is the one who has authority to remove them away. That person has a lot of authority. And he thought a lot for you to be in that mountainous area. Now, I want you to see another thing in that scripture. That you realize the lady who was praising the shepherd was not bought a car. They had not bought. They are not bought 
Maybe a flock of, of cattle somewhere in that mountain. No. But she looked at the commitment. She was giving a praise to the commitment and the loving of Jesus towards her. So the physical things should be not be the ones to motivate you to love Jesus. Because anyone can have them. But look at the setting of the man. The time that he has put in. The love that he has shown. And above all the commitment. Let me tell you some of these. There are some things in this world that you can never go away with. One is commitment and love. And now, how do you know that somebody is committed to you? And how do you know that someone is loving you? Now, like you make them feel special. You make you don't get them feel embarrassed. Ah, you find her. Uh, when you I will be with your mother and your children. Now, is that your wife? Or when you are with your mother, you are with your mother. When you are with your mother, you your commitment. How do you make the other person feel special around you? Now, Jesus, yes, he has made the people to feel so special that he loves them, that he goes to the cross to die for them. That person is special. Someone is telling you, you know, all everything I have left in this world is for you. You know, you know, and in fact, if the soldiers come around, I will show them who I am. They cannot touch me. And then when they, when they come, you just run away. <laughs> then, what kind of commitment do you have this, towards this person? Now, but not, not 
this lady, not this lady who was speaking. This is a wise, a wise church. Now, see that catch some foxes for us so that they are not hindering or spoil our vineyard because they are prosperous. Now, a true and a, 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 a realized Christian in Jesus must detect the destructions that hinder him from intimating with Jesus. And uplift them to Jesus. That Lord, I have this fox around me. And it is going to spoil our relationship. This sin is eating me up. And I cannot give it to you as I ought to. Now, but here the prayer of a child. I've prayed for 30 years. I'm not seeing anything. <laughs> Are you hearing a wise, a wise church versus a church which is, uh, which is seductive? Now, the, the wise church says, but Lord, take away the foxes around, they must fall in the vineyard. Now they're in the setting of that intimacy. There, there are intimate. You, you reach a point and you don't want to spoil the mood. And then you start bringing XC, you start bringing where, when, when I was there. No, you're spoiling. Those are the foxes. I are you getting the point? Yes. Jesus Christ wants you to see that, like, okay, to realize the setting he has set up. Yes, Christ. Like, look, I have gone to the cross for you. I even had to fight all the wars for you. But Jesus, I am here. I am, I am lonely for 30 years, and he spoiled the mood of Jesus. And you say that that is not important right now to you. However so much it is very, maybe important to you. But that's not the most important. That you need the demon life. Not the physicalities because they might spoil the vineyards. So in most cases, uh, in most cases, in most cases, in most cases, so we spoil the mood of Jesus. And you find that when we are supposed to speak a praise that trigger him to do much for us, we you only point out things he has not done yet. But he has made a setting on a mountain. And he has invited you to a secret place to give you more attention. And then he said, but, but even I don't have a car. But yes, it is very good, but what about the foxes around you? So in most cases, like uh, most Christians, they have not realized the, 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 the setting of the 
after Jesus has set up. Chebani na wakutegela eche keka yomu kwano. Owa okweka cha kristu kwa cha dewo. And this poem here in Song of Songs 2, 14 to 17. Ate, eshi tonto me shino muru imba bidi okwa kumina nyapa ka kumina musamfu. Now, when you read verse 16. Oso mora kumina mukaga. She says, my beloved is mine. Aga manchi muganzi wange wange nze ka. And I am his. Era nange nji uwe. He feeds his flock among the lilies. Era alisi ze shisibo che mumalanga. Now you can see that the lover of this young lady was a shepherd. Ndoza mula ba nchu omu kwa no gono. Owa omu ganzi wono ya di murunzi. So he knew the tactics of the shepherds in the mountains. Era nga manyino omu kodyo kwa marunzi munso zi. Now. But you see, this is a, this this is coming from someone who has realized an environment that has been set for them. She not sure. She find a young man to amaso kulaba. No kute kera embera etike kentwa jali. That the 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 place is sacred. Nti chine chifo cha 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 ma. Now it shows the love. It shows the commitment of this person. It shows the determination. It shows the creativity. And it shows how that person wants you to be special towards them. Now, for you, as, as Jesus Christ says all that, then you say, no gamba. But you see, for me, things are, are very hard. Why did we even come this? You look at the mountain, look at the rocks, look at everything here. Yeah, I don't like this environment. But see the, the, the wise lady or the wise church says. She didn't mind about the rocks. She didn't mind about a steep mountain. But she looked at something that might distract the intimacy and atmosphere between with this person. And those were the foxes. And these are the destructions that hinder Christians from intimacy. They are destructions that will hinder your intimacy with Jesus. Because I realize, yes, yes, you, how do we intimate with Jesus? But then when you don't understand the foundation of intimacy, you're not going to intimate with Jesus. You're going to spoil the mood of someone. I'm here for children. Because you saw your aunt saying the same. And you saw your mother saying the same thing. So you will know that oh, when we reach marriage, it's just for only for children. So you have no time for the intimacy. You had somebody bought a car because Jesus bought a car. Yeah, we thank you very much and we give glory to God for that one. It's a very good act. But it's not a center for it matter with Jesus. Even if I build so many homes and I put so many house rentals anywhere and everywhere. And even if I fly every now and then to every country. And I don't have the foundation for Inmas and Inmas of Jesus, it is nothing. Doesn't, it's good for your additional life, for testimony, life testimony, yes, very good, but that does not show does not quantify to the intimacy with Jesus. Now, a good true Christian must be motivated by the love of Jesus. Now, 
by the commitment of Jesus by the environment that Jesus is creating for them Ah, if you only thank your husband when he buys a car, then thank God that he has done it. But then, what if he doesn't buy? Uh, then he, <laughs> a lady. So, you know, you, you talk with the lady, so you say, but uh, I... I see you are kind of sloppy. What's up? What, what is the problem? So, so I know it's sloppy, sloppy, not not in Pola Pola, but uh, a bit sloppy, like this, a little bit disorganized. Then I say, but the Rocky, Ma Ma the Rocky Mountain, uh, you know, it depicts the setting of how. These are challenges that you find on the way as you love someone, as you could get committed to that person that you, you love more. Yes, yeah, so as you move with Jesus, you are going to find some steep mountains. But that one should not hinder you from having intimacy with him. It shouldn't. You know, you should don't, you shouldn't be just uh, motivated by things that you receive in your life. I don't know now whether you get what I'm trying to communicate to you. That intimacy is getting deep with someone. Now, read for us verse 16, um, say Andrew. Distinctly. My beloved, my beloved is mine, and I am his. Muganzi wa ange wange nse ka elani ange njibu we. He pastures his flocks among the lilies. He pastures his flocks. Watch the malanga. What are the lilies? You need to know what are the lilies. A malanga ge gali wa. That Jesus Christ. Jesus does not want to pasture his people where there is no purity because the purity is the one that, that okay that, you see the setting of a mountain like Christ okay maybe when I put it in a normal understanding from the poetic understanding when I put it in a normal understanding now, lilies in nature, they are very nice flowers. Like, uh, the, some, some you find them that are white, some, they are very, very nice, they are very pure. And now, Jesus Christ, now, now the lady says, she testifies of Jesus that he wouldn't like to feed his flock somewhere else except among the lilies. And now that is that, that is the setting of, of purity. Now I'm going to the person must be very pure for, for Jesus to ensure that he does something good in them. Now you look at the, the, the vineyards because she was saying she was saying that I don't like catch catch us all these foxes that might spoil our vineyards. It might spoil the love that I have for you. Now you need to understand the destruction that you have before Jesus. And if you don't understand them, ask Jesus and say, where is he that he meet from intimating with you? Yeah, let's first stand up a little bit and stretch. So because the devil is stealing something from you and you to this the foundation of the infants. Uh, 
I'm sorry for for making the, the honorable stand, but I, I, I just wanted uh, to have a bit of uh, some interaction and I didn't want people to get distracted. Yeah, but what I'm trying to mean <laughs> that in the foundation of intimacy, <laughs> you need to understand the destructions. The little foxes around you so that they don't spoil the vineyard. See something that is building you up. If you see something is going to spoil your relationship with Jesus, leave it. And if you don't have power over it, Ask Jesus. Do not, do not let all these destructions or the little foxes spoil your vineyard. So now, as we maybe we can look at and say that we have seen uh, in some of some of Psalms two from from fourteen to seventeen. It focuses on love and commitment. During hard time. And as I have said that it focuses on destruction that might hinder your intimacy with Jesus. Or things that might affect your relationship with Jesus. So intimacy is beyond the, the normal understanding that we know of sex. So it is defined as innermost thoughts or feelings proceeding affecting one inward self or the inner being expression. With your soul, with your mind, with your spirit, including your body. Now, that is intimacy and uh, that's how the church should understand the intimacy with Jesus. So it is defined as when like this person how they connect to somebody deeply with a trueness of their soul to the level where you can see the ugly the the good and the bad. So if your intimacy does not reveal the truth of you, then you will not eat it with Jesus. You must the the ugly must come out. The good must come out. And now, now Jesus, Jesus intimacy looks at you as an imperfect person. Say, oh my darling, you're still at this level. I see. Yes, but there are some certain things that are still hidden in your relationship. If you are intimate with your wife or, or with your husband, you must see the ugly, the bad, and the good. Now, the bad, how to turn them to good? Now, the bad, how to turn them to good? Now, the, the, the angle and also you, you plan how to make them better. And the good, how to make them excellent. So, it must have brings that in a in a soft expression. You get to join with someone not because you want to have sex with them. But to have that commitment 
with them and achieve much more with them. So for you to have anybody with Jesus and not focus on the physical things, that's what that is the sex of the world. So intimacy goes beyond all that. You see the trueness of a person. You get defined through the word. You see the identity of Jesus through the world. So in the with Jesus is how you how you greatly get connected with Jesus. With uh, with your innermost being. Yeah, your innermost must get connected to Jesus. Your soul must get connected to Jesus. Your mind, your intellectualism. Now, when, 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 even your discernment must, must be of Jesus. You must see through a certain hard stone. Not just through the window. Because through the window you can see, oh, there is, um, I can see a tree, I think it's an overhead, I see some, you know, yeah, that, because the window is open. You must reach a level where you have to cultivate the knowledge and a deeper understanding and gain the deeper life of Jesus. And, and that is what we, we come for. We don't come for stories here. But we come to bring and unveil the purpose and mission of Christ so that the Christ manifests in you and you be valued with the kingdom of God. Uh, we can read. Let's let's read Luke 10, 38, 42. Someone can read for us uh, amplified and then as well. So that I just want to make this thing like. Then when we come to it, where we we stopped later on, I, I have seen. I think the Holy Spirit is always wise because He said that some of the things that we conceived and the foundation needs to be very solid and firm. That's why I'm somehow. Uh, repeating and but later on we are going to go back to the main theme where yeah it might be maybe some other Sundays but here let's first go through and understand this verse of Christ because I don't want people to you know to be focused on the world to have their world world they desire and they focus on them as intimacy no even a thief can can have them yeah, getting the husband is not really, that does not mean that that is intimacy with Jesus. Because even the Muslim is married. Does it mean that they are intimate with Jesus? But we thank God that, oh God, thank you very much. I, 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 I see the benefit that I have of you with you. But I want to have this this righteous zeal to understand you more. I want you to enter into my born and marrow. I want you to connect with my spirit. I want my spirit and my soul to be sick with you. So take away the little foxes away. I, I have got this scene that eats me up. When I look at women, I always want to go and have sex with them. And this is the danger to the intimacy they have with you. So let's read uh, Luke 10. 
look up for me. I start to uh, start from 38 uh, to 32. Okay. Look up for me. I start to move. I start to move. Come. I start to move. Nana. Back up for 42. Yes, same by back and I'm busy. Agamati, I will lie you again. Da. Naira Michelo. Omkata linya le Maliza. Nam seleza mnyumba yeye. Nae yali na Uganda we aitiwa Mariam ya chula anga wali kire biyamu kama wafute na uya ni chiga mochi ana nae Mariza ya banga ni mita wale jokuwe zo kunji na chia wali na muda mati mukama wangu tofa yuko muda mwa wanga ni zo kuwe zanzika kai muda mwa niambi ana mori nae mukama wafute na chia muda muda mati Mariza Mariza. Where are you, Kidida? Or you never tell one day, Jerry Gambo Vinci. Never she tell you what she did. She won't have my yamo, I won't say Omo Gabo or Mulunji or put him with you. Verse 38 to 42. So, now when they were on their way, it occurred that Jesus entered a certain village. And the woman named Arthur received and welcomed him into her house. 39. And she had a sister named Mary who seated herself at the Lord's feet and was listening to his teaching. 40. But Martha, overly occupied and too busy, was distracted with much serving. And she came up to him and said, Lord, is it nothing to you that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me to lend a hand and do her part, along with me, 41. But I don't reply to her saying, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. There is need of only one, or but a few things. Mary has chosen the good portion, that which is to her advantage, which shall not be taken away from her. Now, and Mary equally was a friend of Jesus. But both chose what they wanted. Now Mary chose a very good part. She chose to sit at Jesus' feet and listen to the word. And the other one chose helping. Be listening to the word for me, I will be cooking and I will bring you food. Yeah, don't worry, I will bring the food. Now, of course, now I think they became many people and, and the work was too much on her. She said, no, let me go and I tell Jesus now. Let me go and I tell Jesus now. Lord, don't you see that I'm alone? I'm just married, just here seated with you. You should tell her to come and help me out in the kitchen. And Jesus, Jesus' response was the perfect one. He said, Martha, 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 you are worried about too much. You have a lot of distractions. And those distractions are not seeing the goodness of the Lord. You're not even listening to the word of Jesus. You're worried about how you can give people the food. What about the teaching of Jesus? Now, Mary chose the good part. That she wanted to be intimate with Jesus. No matter whatever is happening, and of course someone would say, but Jesus would have said, don't you see that work was too much on Martha? And Jesus Christ goes ahead and confirms and says that in this life you may need a little things. And, and Mary has chosen a very good one. She, she, she chose to listen to Jesus. 
She chose to get acquainted with Jesus. She, she, okay. Martha, Martha, this, this represents, of course, I will look at it maybe in the future because there is a minister of Martha and the minister of Mary and how they can be integrated in the church. But here we are looking at the relationship and the elements that, that you can have with Jesus despite the challenges that you have around you. Let me look at this verse again. What you call important is not important before God. You might be bothered with rent. Maybe it's the school fees. It might be the school fees. Where will I get this? Where will I get? Today the devil has really stuck in here. It might be the school fees. Zinzo kubela school fees. It might be the house rent. Zinzo kubela rent we nyumba. It might be maybe the wife that you want. Oh, ba zinzo kubwa mushala kuoya kala. It might be anything that is a destruction. That that is a destruction that can destruct you from the teaching of Jesus. Zinzo kubela chini chona. Zinzo kuzwa muzo ba zinzo kukuja kunjikiriza ya Kristu. You could be like Martha. Or zinzo kubela Lord, why is that? I see others are okay. I see the other husband is fine. They are doing okay. Maybe my family, when as it is, it is getting away. You are not choosing the good part. You are choosing to be there and serve. But there is a good part. Have you understood the word of Jesus? And even in your serving, you're going to apply the word of Jesus. How are you prepared enough? Now, Mary chose the good part. She decided to be at the feet of Jesus. The person who sits at the feet of Jesus means a person who wants to get well acquainted with Jesus. A person who wants to get understanding of Jesus. The person who wants to get the vision of the kingdom of God. You are trying. No, Martha, she was, was telling Martha. But, um, you know, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken off from him. That is, any mother with Jesus have eternal life. That is the good part that you should always choose. And you can only obtain it when you are willing to sit at Jesus' feet. Like you might empty yourself out. <laughs> You must empty yourself out. And give time to Jesus. Give time to the knowledge of God. These are the things, yes, they are there, but they, they will still vanish away. You will not die. I am getting the point. Mother was complaining, but 
No, no, tell Mary. Mary is just doing nothing. That's it with you. Marisa, you are the one who is going to be my You must know that Jesus walked came to establish the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God comes with knowledge. It is established in understanding. In love, knowledge. And know that the pillars of power and authority. the houses you've built, uh, the don't have the stories you will tell us. We don't we are not interested. That you know, in 2002, I built a house so well. But how much do you know God? And how are 
are acquainted with Jesus. Because what you're testifying of the world no, has, they have it actually more than you. You must get the good part. Yes, you have your houses, but me, I have Jesus. Are you getting the point? That Christ is a testimony of himself. So. Now, you see, when the lady was taken to the mountain, I mean in the Song of Songs, too. Uh, she, there is a praise she made. She heard the words of Jesus or the man who had taken her to the mountain. That I am his and I, uh, his mine and I am his, right? And he tenders, or when he tends his flock. Or he turned as a flock of the pasture amongst the lilies. Kumalanga. Now you see that every time when you get acquainted with Jesus, you will get to understand how Jesus Christ wants the church to be pure. And you will praise him for making his people stand. That is, Lord, I thank you because I see the other person is really getting to know you and I wish you could know you more. May God be with you. See, let me tell you, when you have the knowledge of God, you don't, you don't become a slave. When you don't have the knowledge of God, when you're ignorant, you become a slave. Your mind is locked. They take you anywhere they want. You become like a tossing wind of the ocean. Anything that comes, you just follow. But knowledge, knowledge is, is more expected when you have it by the way of Jesus. And that's why Jesus was commanding Mary, not Martha. And yet they were all doing some good job. You know, was like, but I'm in the kitchen. I am serving the people here. Who are with you here listening? No man is a young man. It's an answer to move from below. But, 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 but I mean, Jesus Christ is the one who answered, not to me. Said, that, that you know what? You worry too much about so many things. But it is a very good part, and that is intimate with me. You need to intimate with Jesus. With, you need to intimate with Christ. And the destruction should not hinder your intimacy. Now, Martha was destructive. She lived. Martha, actually, actually, when you read the Bible, you realize she had a, a sort of relationship with Jesus in John, in John 11. But at some point, she would be distracted by, the, by her work. She thinks she's doing a lot of work. And she thinks she's doing a lot of work. Don't you see, my Lord, I wake up every morning, I have to sleep at home, I have to cook for my husband, and I also have to go to work, I have to dress up the children, and Lord, don't you think my husband should come and help me out? There the husband is always at church. Now, sometimes you need to worry which one is the good part. When you worry about so many things, the Lord will not help you out. And unfortunately, there is no Okay, there is no help that came from the Lord to Martha. Because she chose that one. It is not her, it's not the Lord who told her to do so. Now, you see, 
And there are things that you've chosen in life and you've taken part in them. And they have become too much on one and you want to keep them on the Lord. You won't. You see, my husband doesn't listen to me, but the Lord never sent you there. Did you strike an agreement with Jesus? Did you choose a good part anyway? With your husband, have you chosen a good part of it? So, that now the hallmark of all the Christian faith is in the intimacy of Jesus Christ. And without that hallmark, you're not going to make it to to be with him. There is no way the divine life and eternal life is going to be imparted onto you. Even your husband must get acquainted with the knowledge of Jesus. So that he may establish his values. You see, let me tell you. When, when you're intimate with someone, you look at their values as well. Yeah, the value, I don't know how I can say, but not just when you are value. Uh, uh, when you like values, like you look at, like, a genome, like, whatever values that they, 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 they possess. Yes, like you look at you look at what they have to add on to you, and you realize oh, so so basically you you be on their side as well. You don't look at on your side. Now when you are not ruling, but you are not ruling, you are not And let me tell you something very when when you really intimate intimate with someone. Even if they say it, if if Jesus Christ gives you another chance, and He wants to surprise his wife. No, can you choose the same wife that you have? How many people would choose their husbands again and their wives? Hey, I have a few hands. The rest of the <laughs> Even when you know all these things happen to us, I will still choose you, my love. And you're the one that I have to look out for. <laughs> but if you don't, if you don't have any thought like that, then you're not intimate with your wife. If Pastor is like me and said, I, today I have prayed to God, everybody should choose another wife, you will see them. <laughs> and my God and men as well. You would see, you would see how men would choose, or uh, how many women would choose them. They would and they would say, Oh, you are to some of us. Then, then that's what it would mean that uh, your intimacy level. I get that in me. I'm going to go and walk away. That's what I'm going to do. I get a Maria, but I don't get a Now that's now it's the same thing with Jesus. That Christ would still choose you and choose you more again. I still choose the pastor. 
at least I know the little devil in him. So I'm going to kick out that devil. So now that's 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 a genuine intimacy with with someone. To be at a point where you can choose them again. If you can choose your wife, your, your wife again, oh, they put Stella here and they put and say, Ah, Stella, And the only thing you remember are the bad things. Let me try and go with Maria. Maybe I might explain something new. But you see, Jesus Christ is not like that. Yes, yes, what to go. And that's how we should also choose. Like even a situation when it is worse and worse, he's the one that we have to choose more and more. Have you ever been tempted to the point where you can choose money over Jesus? Now that you're not intimate with Jesus, that, that is number one indicator that you don't know Jesus. Have you ever reached a point where you have to choose uh, to go and sleep with a woman and and you said, Jesus, for now today, the, the body is demanding. <laughs> and you go. You forgive us, Lord. I, I get to the point. Now, those are indicators, those are destructions that show that you're not intimate with Jesus. Now, the, the, the woman, or the woman in Song of Songs, and Mary, they are good, they are actually a good representation of how the church should respond to Jesus. The lady said that many take away all these foxes around. They are going to take away our intimacy. They are going to spoil the vineyard. I'm looking for this man there, but it might destroy my soul. For you don't see them, but those are the foxes around you. And if you reach a point where you don't see the destruction, then you are very far away from the Lord. Because you see, you will look for the man and look for that man. Eh? And you will die with that man. And you will even find a man. Eh? And the fools who are just looking at you, laughing at you, they will eat the man. So why are you are you getting the point? Instead, choose Jesus. I, I told you of a story. Some 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 guy was called Abu Sekalala and I think Susan knows, knows about him. So this man gets one million, one million dollars. But look at what came is in his mind. Okay, you know these startups normally you make an innovation and you know funders love the idea and say, okay, I would love your idea, but then we're going to find it about one million dollars. Maybe if we see that it's nice, we should add one more. So the gentleman said, okay, so they gave him, so they took him to Microsoft uh, in, um, in US. Microsoft America. Then after some time he came back, but he said, I must use this money well. Then, I've never slept with the Chinese, so let me go to China. Let me go and I spend the money. So, the man 
in his mouth the whole lifetime you wanted to sleep with the Chinese. Now you see what man can do. Do you see what I'm trying to mean? And when you're far away from God, and you're not intimate with Jesus, you will choose the man and sleep with women. So the actually up to now everything died there. He didn't he didn't break through. Because we can take the money to the Chinese and you come back when you okay. They, they ate the whole man, I think. So basically, what I'm trying to point out and paint is that Jesus Christ should be the most valuable thing that you have in your life. He should be that testimony that you can testify and I say, Jesus Christ, I don't have this money, but I choose you okay. It is, this, this, this is going to spoil our relationship. Can you please handle it? Yeah, my neighbor, every time I wake up, I just see him accounting money and I, and I, and I count things which are wrong. So I, I don't want to be like that. May he take it away so that we don't spoil the vineyard. Now, you must reach a level whereby you must protect the place or the carpet or the secretion place. You must protect it. You must ask the Lord. And that is the environment and that is the spiritual environment that you have with Jesus. He could be a friend. He can tell you lies. And you see by the lies, you're not going to make with grace. Tell them this is wrong. And this cannot intimate with me with Christ and what you're telling me. I tell you, it's going to choke my spirit. So you have to be mindful of destruction. They can come from any angle. It can come from anyone. It's up to you on how you intimate with Christ so that you know them and then address the Lord. Lord. I don't want to be part of the stumbling blocks in your church to spoil the vineyard. So let us be like the woman in Song of Songs and Mary. Be eager to have influence with Jesus. To sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to his word. And the knowledge that you have will make you a son and daughter in the kingdom of God. I have seen people who are supposed to be sons and daughters of God, but they are slaves. You see, the problem, you see, the problem with, with ignorance is one. You, you can be filled with, with confusion and darkness. Every time, every time you are ignorant, you are at a great disadvantage. Now, instead, when you have intimacy with Christ, you are going to have more knowledge to be established in the kingdom of God. And at this inverse level, it's where you have your time that you're going to give to Jesus. So Christ desires how it matter with the church. And he expects in return the expression of your thoughts. 
Nipida tata, tata njaga la kusima. Vanga kwe kubida ogamba. Sawa. Mwanzila mwanzila mwanzila. Kati nini nini mita nita kuplaninga. Nina mba sita kuhuli la msaita huu wangete. Avela anapala business. Mwini kuja kumisea kasezi. Nisa waka. Msaita huu kabele yo. Soke ngende kamwana. Sato na nanzila mwanzila. Orido sawa kuchekela mwanzi laika. Like, like, or testifying, or you know, so you chose the good part. So now you're no longer matter, you're becoming married, right? Maybe. Ah, may God bless you, my sister. Mr. Mang never has a chance. Nothing ever has a fatal under or when she can't be a child come home. A certain woman come home yet. Put it to the old one, see, dear. Nick and never was up. Oh, my own, that's it. Oh, my Kuki changa zamuko, wanga last Sunday, umweze yaliyo yaliyo kusomesa ku, ubeba ni section tapos ni the prophet, kwa intimate with the prophet, kati wano kuli ku intimate with Christ, kati mende saba, unjau ni the post, mwenye mkuu. Okay. Thank you, Teacher Ashu. My question is, or is this a particular metaphor as is on man in the Song of Songs, chapter 2? But you've not taught the girl and the correct rock. What is that? Hey, okay. Um, uh, Sister Sherry is, is asking, uh, 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 what must be after? Sister Sherry says uh, that in Song of Songs, that have left out the term, and they say, and, uh, and then the, the crocs rockies, right? Yeah, read for us and prepare, uh, prepare it again, Zay uh, Andrew. Uh, maybe she can understand what I was trying to explain. Okay. Verse 14. So I went with him, and when we were climbing the, lo the rocky steps, up the hillside, my beloved shepherd said to me, Oh my dove, why you are here in the seclusion of the cliffs? A solid draw in a sheltered and sacred place of the let me hear let, let me see your face. Let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. May God bless you. I think you can just the poetic person is right to me. Now, in, in many instances, you always know that the Holy Spirit is the dove, right? No, like, like, not in many cases, the dove has so many contexts, especially when God is meaning a different thing. Now, when you look at, okay, let me, I don't know what, how many know doves? A dove in nature is very humble. It does not make any noise. You never, like it doesn't just make any noise anyhow. It's not like one when she, well, a dove, then there is another bird almost resembling a dove. It's a pigeon, right? Now a pigeon is not like a dove. Now, when you describe someone is a dove, it means that person is so dear to you, special. 
Oli wa wa iti ba ejiva. Chiba chete gazantu omuntu no wa njau lomyo ati mwa garajola. And especially how they express themselves towards you. Ati nenge ni jeme isamu. Oba nenge ni jeme lagamu joli. Ingibiti. Mu muweto waze. Honesty. Mu kubela mla mulukufu. Transparency. Mu kubela mla mulukufu. So basically, they it represents the. I don't know. I think something that, that is peculiar. Just like the way you see, the Holy Spirit is so special to you. Now, see that now the man uses poetic words and says, My dove. Imagine Jesus is telling you, My dove. You can't be with Jesus and you fail your wife or your wife fails you. Are you getting the point? Because he has expression of all the words that you would want. So simply, he was trying to make this person feel special in that sacred place. Okay, trying to trigger this person to have a level where they can intimate well together. Now, because the stupid the, the simple rocks, these are some of the challenges that can always surround you. And that one shouldn't be your focus because you can see the lady never focused on the rocks. Never. So a rock was not a destruction because it does not speak. But the foxes were making noise everywhere on the mountain. And so Jesus and, and so the woman was like, they are going to make they are going to hear our you know our voices, the way we intimate here, the way I praise you, I'm going to hear another voice of, of a fox, just remove it away. Yeah. There are things that you have in you that can hinder you from praising Jesus the right way. What do you want to now those you need to identify them and ask Jesus to take them away. You get a point. Then uh, I, I was just in a secret place. Then uh, Masi's question. Say the servant, uh, I think it was Brother Katrego was here last Sunday. I wasn't around though. Sunday Yes, sir. You wanted to answer her? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hebrews 13, 7 to 17. Gacho Geraku. Gacho Geraku Samba Sumbet Tiwa. Wosome Sule Gamati. I'm not sure that Hebrews 13, 7 to 17. We try to go back to the consumer. We go to Ghana. We go to Sindeza. We go to Mungu. Every party. By seven to seven to. And by the way, let me let me actually sit within the whole day there. That's what I want to mean. Katika mbaguli da ati o o o bana tina kusumba isi kishita gezan cha ato ina kutuwa na na kurulamba. And understanding him doesn't mean that you should be with him and then converse with him. That's not what God wants. Aje na kumute kia kishita gezan chuma ina bera na yangu ni. Understand the purpose of God in him that he has created, that he has the vision of the church and to work with him and also to him so that. Like there is no way you say you understand me and you're doing contrary to what the church and the word of God is saying. Wait, when he has even a problem, you even don't know you, you said to me to make concern, and you say you know him. So, like for example, when we say that we are in partnership, partnership, or maybe we are in a relationship with someone. 
It means we understand the, the purpose why we were in that relationship. So you need to know what is the purpose of him being around. It's the work of God, right? What are you doing in helping him so that you strengthen your relationship with him? So it's not about talk, talk, that's why I won't do anything. So just have a collaboration and a very good relationship with him. When you have maybe some issues, uh, ensure that maybe talk to him about them and and you see that your way is not in any anyway. Yeah, I, I guess I satisfy your, your mind. Uh, let me go to Pastor. I know you don't want to be distracted today. Let me go to Pastor James. Like, I don't want you to drive me where I have to compare Christ and Pastor Isaac. No, I don't want that. You the point. I don't want you to compare your relationship with the pastor and Christ. No. I want you to know that he's there and represent Christ and you need to know Christ. So you don't want to have a competition whereby, what about Christ? What about this? What about that? You get the point? Like, let's avoid this scenario. But I want us also to be, uh, the reason why it's here is for us to be intimate with God. To lead us away and to point to us the torch where, where we go wrong and where we should move. But he should never be in competition with Jesus. You can hear the point. Eh? Yeah, so don't drive me in that angle. Yes, you are Remember your, your former leaders who spoke God's message to you. Think how think back on how they lived and died and imitate their faith. Now you see, even that's what we you're supposed to depict the character or the fruit of Christ in the leader. And, and you wear that character as you see it. Okay, read verse 8 as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ uh -huh. is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. Oh. Okay. So, the way the Moses is served him, the way other servants serve him, the way the poor served him, is, is the way God expects us to serve him without changing anything. Like, I don't want the church to reach an extent where it takes the glory of Christ away and then you compare it with the one with, the, with his servant. No, that's bad. No, that's one. No, we cannot accept that. We want you to accept the leaders as they have given them to you. The Bible recommends that you pick the faith that is in them. And then also emulate, actually that is emulation. See how the leader is behaving. Is he towards the work of God? Is he doing things which are contrary to the word of God? If he's never contrary, he can't have a relationship with the person who is contrary to the word of God. 
mchera tunulira engeri je be hisabu ne bintu bye bakola bwabanga akola ebintu ebya katonda ebirungi bachirungi bwabanga takola bintu bya katonda ayeto genda kubera kukola gana nungi no muntu atakola bintu bya katonda so i hope uh, it is very clear now kaso bere tshitegere kesi yeah may god bless you now let me go to my sisters Question. Now she said that what is that sacred place they are talking about? In some of okay, in, let me just use the word setting. Kati, mumbera eri ejikekedwa. The word, the word the setting like the way the world sets up things. Eh? And let me look at the husband and the wife. Like when when you when you have that time with your heart, with your wife, you want the kids to see you. Kati bobanga oli mukasera ko no mwami no muchala ko weka no bena wonga abana baba ulira. No. You ha if it if it is if it is if sometimes some of you you increase the volume of the radio so that I don't know but you increase the volume of the so that so that people say it is the music inside the house. So abamu kumwe mwami no kongeza music na chamaga Yeah. Now it's the same thing. The secret place is that that place, that time that you have with Jesus, and you don't want any destruction by any person. One. It could be the way you want to read the Bible and you don't want any destruction. It could be how you want to worship him without destruction. So now, now God wants us to reach that moment in life with him. Where you don't want anything to disrupt you from him. Just like the way you can you can be in your bedroom with your wife and at night and you don't want anybody to listen to your to your voice. And the worship, you people you always sing songs even during that time. And that and you hear this woman was also singing the same song. Yeah, you sing about those songs that, so there's no child about them. So, but it is always in the sacred place. I don't know whether you would go to the sitting room and start making noise about what you had with your husband. Yeah, but in the spiritual understanding now the setting of that it means the commitment and the love that you have towards the other person so like you wouldn't want to worship someone in places where there is noise there is a lot of distractions you are not going to bring up the at the atmosphere Uh, you know, praise from the within the voice that you have. So I hope you understand. So that time, you think about that time you have with your husband and your wife. That is how God wants you to be with Him. Why don't you want anybody to stop you? Even sometimes, some, some people they come, they go to the bush. They, even they come and arrest them. They didn't know how they go to them. You see, it means that your senses have gone away. You're only concentrated on that moment. So now, when Christ wants us to focus on Him to the point that nothing can destroy us. And that is where you're going to reach that level of intimacy. Yeah, so we got uh, is it a question? Pastor, Pastor. Wait, someone says yes. Yes, you are here. I mean, there is a specific time. The sawa ya sawa yoka. Nobwemeri mu oba mu bako bawa nga ufumikirize chichamukamu. 
Exactly. So, so I think it's it's well. We are not aligning it to a moment, Pastor James. So may God bless you. Let's uh, go. Hey. Uh, she's, she's the last one I had. Amen. 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 Aye, ABMB, Mata, Yatani for Puebu, Bunya. We all for a good name of our Wembu, Bunya. A good young boy of Bunji, a young young boy of the car, that he put up for a Bunji. Yes, a priest of Yabaga and Bansi. Maybe I've seen the England Master of Wimwe Yako of the Mary, while he would be Banga Yaku Yam come out the Mary, a Suro Pudia, a Rebunji, one Macau. Yes, Christo Yatela Janadira Makagi, Gagamu Makagi and Janadira Makagi. Kara Hulgana, who was about to serve the Gabatula to serve the Yaga Guagara, the only other serving Anga, Puemo Guya, the Vituba Tambra, who come out of the rooms. So let's continue next week. Uh, next Sunday, and, and it's my prayer that that God enable you to come in understanding Him and in knowing Him truly and uh, reaching that level of where you can intimate with Him. So let's uh, the great and awesome Lord, the creator of heavens and earth. Lord, we want to thank you for today. And we thank you for the word you've given unto us. And Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. That this word be rooted in the hearts of your children. And Father, it's my honest prayer. That you take away the little foxes around us. That hinder your children, Father, from interacting with you. From understanding you more. But you take away this hill and mountain of ego race out of us. So that we may come to know you. To be acquainted with you. To be connected with you. And to be in a separate place, Father, where we can give you a true worship and praise. Father, you know that in many words there lacks no sin. But if there is anyone that went astray, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, you may erase it and correct it in the right way. But our prayer unto you, Jesus, is that you make us understand the way, is make us get imparted with life of the divine nature to understand the brethren, to understand the hate, and understand the deepest part of you as we grow into the kingdom of God. And we pray against any part of darkness. We pray against all the forces of evil. We pray against doctrines. We pray against any power of opposition. We destroy the spirit of Jezebel. And we subject them to the supermass 
Father, we pray that the little foxes don't disrupt us. Let this word grow and be multiplied in the hearts of the children. Let the increase understanding to increase the knowledge to increase the discernment and to open the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ and Father at the end of the day you will be the one to be glorified we thank you we magnify your name we bless thy holy name in Jesus name we pray my Father, forgiving us your Son.